Small unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, have become important weapons on the battlefield today, combining portability and stealth to launch deadly attacks on enemy forces unexpectedly. Existing air defense systems are mainly designed to target large fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters, and are not very effective against small tactical UAVs. After years of development, the American company Raytheon has developed the DEM Shorad short-range air defense system, which is currently being tested on the Stryker armored vehicle. It is expected to provide eight air defense vehicles to the U.S. military in 2024, and if all goes well, it will be ready for official service in a short time. The DEM Shorad system is a laser weapon system that incorporates the KU-720 multi-mission radar, electro-optical slash infrared target acquisition and tracking system, and a 50 kW high-energy laser weapon. It is capable of surveillance, reconnaissance, and the ability to counter drones and even artillery shells. While the radar and other equipment are relatively less challenging from a technological standpoint, the real difficulty lies in designing and manufacturing an energy-efficient and sufficiently powerful laser weapon. The 50 kW laser in the DEM Shorad system uses 20 to 25 fiber laser amplifier modules to enhance its power, but integrating these individual beams into a single lethal laser is the most difficult part, which Raytheon has apparently solved. The DEM Shorad system is powered by high-capacity batteries, and the batteries are charged by the diesel engine-driven generator of the Stryker armored vehicle. Theoretically, as long as there is diesel, the entire system can continue to operate. It is just unknown how much power the laser weapon consumes during firing, how long the interval between shots is, and what the effective combat range is. A DEM Shorad Striker vehicle requires a crew of three, a driver, a vehicle commander, and a laser weapon operator. Since it does not require an ammunition rack, and therefore no need to load ammunition, the space freed up can be used to install equipment, potentially even increasing the fuel tank. Despite being a new weapon system, the operation is not complex. Soldiers involved in the prototype vehicle testing have already mastered the relevant operations after a few days of training. According to Raytheon, the DEM Shorad system has performed well in testing, with the laser being able to detonate or deflect mortar shells after just a few seconds of exposure, and being able to destroy the outer shell of small UAVs instantaneously. In theory, this laser system is capable of countering small targets such as UAVs, mortar shells, and rockets with relatively low speed, but cannot yet handle armed helicopters. The US Army's approach is more conservative and practical, as they still hope to do more testing. In addition to the 50 kW DEM Shorad system, the Army also wants to develop a 20 kW small-scale laser system, perhaps to install on armored vehicles, tanks, and other ground combat weapons as additional self-defense firepower, in order to enhance the survival capability of the vehicles.